angle of repose yes <coughs> simple experiment a slide you have to design a slide in a park if it is perfectly horizontal do you call this as a slide that means if you change this angle 5 degree 10 degree 15 if you keep on changing this angle 5 10 15 20 25 30 say the object just the object just starts a sliding at what angle say 30 degree so the angle at which it just starts sliding is termed as angle of a repose so that means at angle less than this So, there is an inclined plane and let us assume that this theta is the angle of repose, the angle at which the object just starts sliding. Question is, when you have this angle as 10 degree, say this one, why the object is not sliding or what causes the object to slide down and what opposes it? two issues what causes or what will support its motion one two something will oppose its motion so there is a sort of competition now i am increasing some parameter is increasing we will discuss what that parameter is and the moment it slides then the two forces supporting force and opposing force they become equal weight of the object x downwards mg component of weight mg one component along this line another component along this line if this angle is yes whatever is angle between two lines same is the angle between their perpendiculars if this angle is 30 degree this angle will also be 30 degree if this angle is theta this angle is also theta another method suppose this angle is 30 degree if this angle is 30 degree i can extend it this is 90 if this angle is 30 this angle is 60 if this angle is 60 this angle is 30 simple competition purpose whatever is angle between two lines same is angle between their perpendiculars perpendicular to this line this one perpendicular to this line this one so angle between these two is theta now we need to have component of the two mg this angle base hypotenuse this comes out to what mg yes cos theta or sin theta cos theta and this one mg sin theta that means it is this component mg sin theta which it tries to bring it down but something opposes it yes friction friction on the floor on inclined plane opposes it because there is a tendency to move downwards so friction will act upwards friction is opposite to tendency tendency is to move downwards that is why friction acts uh, upwards that means when the angle was small say 10 degree only mg sin theta was there but value was small friction was self adjusting mg sin theta value at this stage when the angle is 10 degree suppose mg sin theta is 2 friction is also slightly increased mg sin theta 3 friction is also 3 it is only at this stage at 30 degree that mg sin theta becomes slightly more than friction and the object just starts moving downwards notes band kar do one full page <coughs> draw the diagram draw the diagram
angle at which the object just starts sliding. You want to get a relation for theta and mu. <coughs> the object just starts sliding when mg sin theta is equal to what? Friction. Actually, it is slightly more, but for numerical purpose, critical case, we say it is just equal to. Friction, yes, we have covered yesterday. Friction is equal to what? Nu times the normal reaction R. Now, here the question is, when it was flat, weight was mg and the normal reaction was R. Magnitude wise, it was equal to mg. But, in this case, it will press the floor not with mg, with mg cos theta, that is why magnitude of the normal reaction R is equal to mg cos theta. And you can confirm, when theta is equal to 0, yes, theta 30 degree 20, 10, 0, when theta is 0, mg is downwards, R equal to mg, if theta is equal to 0, mg into cos 0, cos 0 is what? 1. So, at this stage, the object will press the floor maximum. As you increase, the force exerted by the object on the floor keeps on decreasing. And the final case, if theta is equal to 90 degree, yes, if you move along the wall, you won't be able to press the wall. Theta is equal to 90, cos 90, cos 90 is 0. At this stage, this object is not at all pressing the wall, it is just touching the wall. So, normal reaction is not mg, it depends on theta, it is nu times mg cos theta. It is mg sin theta, this is mg cos theta, yes, mg, mg cancel sin theta by cos theta, tangent theta is equal to u. So, if a friction value is high, theta is more. If friction value is less, theta is less. Now, for a water park, slide is having a fluid touch, water. Agreed or not? Normal slide angle is say 30 degree. Same slide, if you have a layer of water on the same, then this value of theta 30 degree will get reduced say 20 degree. Why? Friction has decreased. A layer of water on the slide will decrease the friction. That is why if nu is less, theta is also less. If nu is more, theta is more. If nu is equal to 1, theta is equal to 45 degree. So, if the object and the slide material coefficient of friction is 1, you cannot have a slide with angle less than 45 degree. If you make it less than 45, the object won't slide at its own. Equal to 45, the object will just slide. Greater than 45, then the object will get acceleration or you can the person moving on the slide will have some thrill. Time with you is 3 minutes to complete. 3 minutes to complete.
yes what was the angle at which the object just starts sliding 30 degree if you make it 45 degree then then mg sin theta will be more than friction and the object moves down with a certain acceleration acceleration a is equal to what is the net force along this line mg sin theta minus friction net force divided by mass acceleration is so mg sin theta minus frictional force is equal to what nu times r divided by m is equal to mg sin theta minus mg cos theta by m m m m cancel what you get is g sin theta minus nu cos theta so acceleration a of an object down an inclined plane is this one we can confirm previous question we can confirm if a is equal to 0 this is 0 0 is equal to g sin theta minus nu cos theta means this part is 0 means what tangent theta is equal to nu same answer as a previous one time with you is 3 minutes to complete 3 minutes to complete